Today we're going to be talking about the use memo hook, what it is and how to use it. Starting off with what it is, the use memo hook is a built-in hook that accepts two arguments, a function that computes a result, and the dependency array. During the initial rendering, use memo invokes the compute function, memoizes the result, and returns it to the component. If during next renderings the dependencies don't change, then use memo doesn't invoke the compute function, but returns the memoized value. However, if dependencies change during re-rendering, then use memo invokes the compute function, memoizes the new value, and returns it. So now how to use it. In today's tutorial, I'll show you a simple example of how to implement use memo to store the value from an expensive operation to quickly display counter information that doesn't require information from the expensive operation. So getting started, we'll create a new file in the SRC folder. We'll call it use memo hook. Uh, JS. We'll use the RFNE snippet, React Native Functional Export Component. So what we're going to do is create a counter, one that has uh, an expensive operation and the other one that doesn't but still the expensive operation will still need to be ran. However, it'll use the memoized value so it'll run much faster. So let's start with the state variable called count. It's gonna be use state, import it from React, initial value of zero. We're going to have another state variable called memoized count. Also initialized to zero. Let's get our UI set up. So I'm using this fragment here because I'm going to have two separate views. Inside each one is going to be a text component. And a touchable opacity. Import that from React Native. I have a text component in here. Copy this, put some space, paste it down below. Here we're going to say counts. Let's get the value of count. And let me go to app.js real quick. Inside here, we're going to use memo hook. I need to import that. Right, there we go. Now we imported it from. We do one dot slash to go into the SRC folder, and then we get the use memo hook, no dot js, and then now we can use the component down here. So now we'll go back to the use memo hook dot js file, and we'll finish setting up the UI. 
this text, I want to show a plus sign. And then in this one down here, I also want a plus sign. So we could increment the count. Call this one memoized count. Okay. I'm just going to add some styling to the text. Say font size. 30 do the same thing for the text component below there we go do this for both the plus signs there we go Here we're just going to give a margin top of say 50. Then we're going to justify content to center. And we're going to align items to center. We'll copy that style for the other view below. There we go. So what we're trying to get at here is have this touch bowl passy, this button, when we press it, it's going to update the count. And what we're going to see is that this count above is going to have an expensive operation. And this one below is not going to have an expensive operation. And what's going to happen is this entire screen is not going to be re-rendered. Uh, the memoized count is going to be stored when we use memo. I'll show you that in just a second. So, say const increment, the arrow function here. We're just going to do this so we can say set count. I'm going to say previous state. So, increment it like that. And here we're going to have memoized increment. Here we're going to say set memoized count. Okay. In the touchable opacity, we say on press equals increment. And we'll copy and paste this down below in the other one. This is going to say memoized increment and now when we press this plus button we could see that it's incrementing and notice when I click quickly it increments quickly that's going to change in a minute once we add an expensive computation into the mix so let's go ahead and create a function that's an expensive operation So it's going to take some number, and it's going to sum up from i equal to zero. And we're going to say. some large number, then we're going to have num plus equals 1. So we're going to add up all those numbers one by one. Then we're going to return num. OK. Uh, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. 
So that's that's uh, up to one billion. So we're gonna go from zero uh, up to one billion minus one because this is less than, not less than, equal to. And we're gonna sum it all the way up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say const operation is going to be equal to expensive operation count. And then last thing I wanna do is I wanna put the text under here, one more text component for the top one. And it's going to say expensive operation. And we'll go ahead and call that operation. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now we can see the value of expensive operation here is 1 billion 13. So basically what we're doing is just whatever count is, we're gonna say, we're gonna make num right here, count all the way up to 1 billion and we're essentially gonna add 13 to it, or whatever the value of count is. So if you watch closely here, let me throw in two console.log statements. I'll put them right here. So we could say uh, console.log, uh, we'll say count, put the value of count in there and for this one similar things except I'm gonna use back ticks and I'm gonna say memoized count uh, dollar sign memoized count and then I'm gonna put a new line after that so the reason I used back ticks here is so that way I could throw in a new line at the end just for readability. So let's reload it. Okay, so now you can see we get the new line here. So now every time I press this button, it's going to run through this expensive operation, computationally expensive operation. And you can see how slow it goes. takes about one to two seconds. And when we press uh, the increment button for memorize count, you could see it's a very similar thing. So you can see how slow it goes. So if I click this say three times fast, watch what happens. Very slow, one, two, three very slow. So now this is a situation where we would want to use the use memo hook. So what we can do is we can take this value that we get which is 1 billion and memoize that value so that way this memoize count that doesn't actually use the expensive operation can continue to increment without everything having to re-render. So let's go ahead and switch this. We'll say const operation equals use memo. We need to import that from React. Throw an arrow function to expensive operation count. So that's the first function is that compute function. 
The second argument is the dependencies array. So what this means right here is, here's the, here's the function that we want to compute. And here's an array of dependencies. In this case, it's just a single uh, variable that it's dependent upon, which is called count. And this operation, this function will be ran only if the value of count is changed. So when we press this button right here, count will be changed. But when we press this button down here, count will not be changed. Memoize count will be changed. So in that case, this function will not, will not be ran. However, in the case before, we had this expensive operation run every single time. So as you see now, let's click count. And you'll see count still goes slow, which is what we expect to happen because count is changing. So then this function is being ran again. So that's what should happen. In memoize count, we should get a much faster response. And as you see, we could click that 19 times very quickly, and it goes quick. If I click this even five times quickly, it's going to go slow. So that was five times. It takes about a second for each one to increment up. If I click this five times fast, you'll see it go to 24 very quickly. Okay, so that was use memo. That was the hook for today. Um, this hook is very good to use if you have any expensive computations. Um, so that way it doesn't affect other components on your, on your screen. Uh, so you can still render other things quickly without everything having to be re-ran, re-rendered. Um, so tomorrow we'll be talking about the use callback hook. So the use callback hook is pretty similar to use memo, um, as in the sense that use memo returns a memoized value, which here we called operation. Um, use callback actually returns a memoized function. So pretty similar in nature. Um, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Um, if you guys have any other questions or comments, please leave it below. If you like this content and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Um, plan moving forward is uh, finishing up the rest of the hooks. Um, then maybe jumping into a little bit of com comparison between the hooks. Um, beginning small examples of how to use them uh, in an actual app, um, setting up a back end, um, then getting into full builds. Um, so if that's content you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Anything that you want to see in particular, leave a comment. We'll try to get to that. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.